The other thing that kind of gets me is if I would have stayed in the Navy, I would be retired right now. I was working in the film industry, um, not production, but in the theater industry. And we were building the big megaplex theaters at the time, big 30plex theaters. And uh, I was working for a guy for about two years, and it was a super fun job, traveled all over the country. Uh, and I was doing basically the sound and projection and lighting in these big movie theaters, you know, setting them up uh, during the end of the construction phase, right before they would open. And to be honest, I actually didn't even become an electrician uh, by choice. It was kind of by chance, uh, which I'll share with you here in a few minutes. But uh, uh, I didn't actually think about it or actually decide to become an electrician. So when I was younger, when I was a young adult, you know, my late teens after high school, uh, even before I was in the military, when I uh, went into the Navy, uh, I really didn't know what I wanted to do as far as a career. Um, throughout my youth, I wanted to be in the Air Force, um, but I didn't really think about a career or what I wanted to do professionally. Um, so after I got out of high school, uh, the opportunity to go into the Navy uh, came up, and I went into the Navy, uh, still not really knowing what I wanted to do. Um, you know, professionally for my life. And uh, even when I was in the Navy, I still really hadn't considered staying in the military, um, you know, for 20 years or whatever. Even after I got out of the Navy, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, although, now that I look back, yeah, my favorite truck right there. Uh, now that I look back, um, as an electrician, I had the opportunity to be an electrician early um, in my uh, enlistment when I was in And then after I got out of the Navy, um, I spent about a year bouncing around jobs. Um, basically that industry, all the theaters stopped building those theaters right around 2000, uh, 1999, 2000. I probably had six, eight, ten jobs within one year before I landed a job in the theater industry. I guess they feel the market was saturated with those big theaters and uh, so they kind of stopped doing that so work kind of dried up for us in that field. And uh, I needed a job um, and I was trying to think of what I could do that was similar because I enjoyed that type of work and uh, that back then that was low voltage work, um, you know, primarily you know, low voltage wiring and thing, you know, audio and stuff like that. And um, so I went down to the local uh, temp agency and uh, basically got hired on, you know, as an apprentice through, through a temp work agency. This is probably 2000, 2001, something like this. Um, so through that temp agency, I actually worked uh, as a, you know, an apprentice technically um, through the temp agency for about a year. I wasn't in an apprenticeship program. Um, uh, they didn't have it in the state of California at the time where you were, you know, required to go through an apprenticeship program. Um, you know, the, I think, you know, the unions always had a, an apprenticeship program, but on the non-union side, it wasn't required. Uh, and I, I think they had schools and stuff like that, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't a formality to become an apprentice or a journeyman at that point in time. So um, I did about a year uh, as an apprentice. Um, kind of bouncing around different companies and different jobs, learning a lot of different things and had a lot of good experiences, uh, you know, all in construction. And, um, and then I got hired on uh, with a company through the temp agency. The company actually hired me um, and uh, I stayed with them for a period of time. But uh, when I was with them, uh, the state of California started to um, Enforce, and they came up with this apprenticeship program that everyone was required to go through. So, um, when this happened, I had about two years of experience um, in electrical, doing electrical work, um, and so I went to the school. And uh, because I had learned a lot in those first two years, um, I went to school for about two years, and then um, I had enough experience to test out to become a journeyman. Um, so I didn't have to finish my apprenticeship school because it was kind of behind where I was as far as uh, the trade. So I tested out, became a journeyman, and I didn't actually complete the four and a half years of school uh, that's required nowadays. So it's kind of funny or sad, depending on how you look at it. 
when I was in the Navy, I was a machinist mate, but I had the option to become an electrician. So I could have been an electrician eight years. You know, when I was 18 years old, though, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, really. And the Navy offered me nuclear power school, so I went and did that. So it is what it is.